Let's play the movie, man. So we got a scene with The Rock and Kevin Hart, Central Intelligence. Love this movie. Pause it right here. So The Rock is faced with three guys. First thing he does is awareness. So I love the fact that they show the gun. Keep playing it, Yanni. So right now he sees the gun. He's about to like square up with all of these three guys. Now I've seen this shit. Kevin, shut up. That's the annoying friend that can get you in fucking trouble. And it's so hard sometimes if you're faced, like I, I've been in these situations working in clubs where I'm trying to defuse a situation and you got your friend pulling you back or holding you back. He becomes a distraction. Right now you got he's gotta be focused on all these three guys. So Kevin, skase. All right, so now let's go back to The Rock. He's faced with the three guys. He's taking the time to actually you know, if you're facing this situation, again, awareness, look at their hands, positioning. You know, you're kind of kind of looking at who you're gonna strike first, who you're gonna take out. You gotta be able to assess the situation. In a few seconds, what's your environment? Can I pick up something? Can I throw it? And here comes the big ass bully. Now, I love what The Rock did right here in this scene. So, pause it right here. He moves him to the side and creates a shield between me and my attacker, because he knows he's gonna have to position himself to take on these three guys. So, Yanni, go. So right here, you see right now, he's basically setting up that first preemptive strike. So that's really important against multiple attackers. Takes the shot, puts it down. Rock, let's go. Boom, stop it, beautiful. Look at that, simple as bring up his hand. Next strike, Yanni. I love the shot, right into the throat. It's a really actually effective strike if you're gonna strike the person right into the throat. And it creates a lot of damage. It gives you a split opportunity to enter if you need to. So Yanni, keep playing it. Now this is the bullshit part there where the gun goes flying and he catches it and knocks him out. 